But first, a quick check on the headlines. French prosecutors placed Telegram CEO Pavel Durov in a formal investigation over probe into organized crime on the messaging app. Durov allowed to walk free with 5 million euros bail but banned from leaving France. UN World Food Program pauses movement of its staff in Gaza after one of its vehicles struck by gunfire at an Israeli military checkpoint. Palestinian authorities claim at least 10 people killed during latest Israeli operation in West Bank. The United States announces new sanctions on Israeli settlers in the West Bank over violence against Palestinians, urges Israel to bring greater accountability. In historic first for Iran, President Masood Pesashkia appoints Fatima Mohajirani as a new government spokesperson, the first woman to hold this position. UN officials raise concerns over incidents around nuclear facilities in Ukraine and Russia. Security Council calls for maximum restraint to avoid a nuclear disaster. Bangladesh's interim government revokes ban on jamaat e islami and its student wing less than a month after the organization was outlawed by the former Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. India set to commission its second nuclear-powered submarine, INS Arikat, in a major step towards strengthening its strategic deterrence capabilities. Berkshire Hathaway becomes the first U.S. company outside the tech sector to surpass $1 trillion in market value. The stock has rallied this year on strong insurance results and economic optimism. Authorities issue highest level warning for wind and storm surges after Typhoon Sansan makes landfall into Japan's main southern island of Kyushu, advises thousands of people to evacuate. The Paralympics Games are underway after a spectacular opening ceremony in the heart of Paris. Thousands of athletes parade down the famed Champs-Élysées to place de la Concordée. 